Hey everybody, I'm Greybeard and thank you so much for tuning in to Greybeard Overland. I really am glad you're enjoying the videos and thanks so much for subscribing. That helps out a ton. Uh, this week's adventure, we took a trip over to Indiana to pick up a uh, part from a, another Jeeper that we had met at a previous event. And every time I go any place, try to uh, make an adventure out of it. This trip was no different. We uh, spent a couple of days over there and uh, learned some of the interesting facts and some of the folklore and had to go explore the area for ourselves. We found some interesting stuff and uh, some kind of spooky stuff too, to be honest. So uh, come along for the ride. Uh, promises not to disappoint. This adventure took us across five hours of back country roads, just beautiful Americana. Here we are at our destination, tiny little town with one stop sign, a general store with one gas pump, and we stayed at this cool little place called the Trading Post. They're well known for camping and canoe and kayak rentals right here on the Pigeon River. They would swap out food trucks periodically to give campers uh, an option of what to eat. And this little social distance sign, I didn't see anybody carrying a cow around. Got camp all set up, figured we'd rest for the evening, plan to get started early in the morning, and just kind of check out the area. First stop was the Fish and Wildlife area. They had a really nice public rifle range here, and uh, we talked to the DNR agent who was managing the range that day, told him we were here from Ohio, and we were just kind of exploring, checking things out. So he told us about the history of the area, as well as some of the folklore, and pointed us in the direction of some things to check out. The first place he told us to check out was this abandoned campground that you see us driving through here. This uh, campground has been abandoned now for six or seven years and apparently it's a hotbed for UFO activity. And it looks like there was a major storm came through here earlier this year. Several trees that are down and what have you. It's really kind of cool and kind of creepy all at the same time. I've included a link in the description of the video uh, to the article about the UFO activity um, so you can read about that if you want.
We spent the day exploring the county roads, some paved, some not paved, just miles of beautiful backcountry roads. Found a few places where the road came right across or right up against the river and uh, stopped to take in some of the beautiful scenery, interact with the kayakers. Good times. On our way back into town, we came across the old Mongo Hotel. Don't know the whole story behind this, but uh, eh, they weren't in business anymore. This is another area that the DNR agent told us about. It's the haunting of Local Road 200 North. They call it Blood Road. The story goes kind of like this. There was a hunter and his young son that were going to hunt in the woods and fields off of 200 North. This was the first time the hunter was taking his son hunting. His excited young son was running around, not following his father's instructions. So the father decided to tie a rope around the boy's waist and the other end to his truck to keep his son safe while he spent the morning hunting. The hunter spent an unproductive day in the woods and headed back to his truck to get in and started to drive home. The hunter had forgotten about his son being tied to the truck and he had driven a couple of miles dragging his son leaving a trail of blood along the road. The DNR agent told us that people claim if you listen closely you can hear the young boy's voice calling out for his dad and screams as you drive down the road. In this section, you're going to notice a little flicker in the video and the drone changes course. And then it comes back and there's really no reason that should have happened. Kind of weird. Don't know what caused it. We were the only ones out here on this road and we had all the windows down, the top was open, listening for sounds. Didn't really hear anything that was completely out of the ordinary. And uh, it was certainly darker than what it appears to be in these pictures. Uh, the light capturing capability of these cameras is actually pretty impressive.
This is the full run back of Blood Road, and it is dark. Let me tell you, we couldn't have seen our hand out in front of our face at certain places in the woods here. It really does amaze me the light capture ability of this camera because the sky was dark and to the naked eye anyhow and it appears to be still pretty darn light. We made it back to the end of Blood Road and nothing happened to us, so it's time to go back to the campground and relax around a nice fire. that wraps up our adventure from Indiana. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share the video with your friends if you'd like. This next weekend we're going to be in Pennsylvania in southern Ohio so I hope to have some good video to share with you then. Certainly appreciate you watching. Until next time, make all your adventures safe ones.